In the Create mod, Signal Strength can be a really useful feature to rely on, especially when space is tight and you're running out of options to detect something. And when we talk about Signal Strength, we have to bring these guys into the mix. You can use a comparator to check if an item drain or a tank have anything in them. You can also tell how much liquid a tank has. You can detect items on depots and inside basins. This allows for very intricate timing setups and ways to automate your farms. This little setup here will make sure the fan will only rotate when there are items on the basin, saving us, well, a little bit of stress capacity, but you get my point. You can also detect if a potion is done brewing. You can see me using this in my potion brewery video where I connect multiple components to a comparator signal coming from basins and that allows me to set valves, power up blaze burners and more. The video is linked in the description if you'd like to check it out. And you can get a fullness indicator out of practically every type of storage container. This means that you can easily draw a line of redstone out of a comparator and have a neat storage indicator without much work at all. You can also use it to control your farm so you'd lock production whenever your chest is full simply because comparators are much cheaper than the Create Mod stockpile switches. So if all you need is a simple stockpile switch without the fine control, a comparator is definitely the way to go. And by right-clicking a comparator, you can use it to compare two redstone signals, and I'm pretty sure that's why it's called a comparator. For example, these two fluid tanks have comparators sticking out of each of them, indicating how much water is in them. So whenever the water level in either tank becomes higher than the other, we will see the pump persisting in the opposite direction until it equalizes the water levels. Once it reaches an equal point, it starts to turn back and forth like a crazy person. Essentially, the comparator signal becomes higher whenever the tank has more water, and using this compare circuit in the back, we're setting it so that this gear shift up here is on whenever this tank has more water, and it goes off otherwise, making sure we never have unequal water levels. There are many other applications for this type of comparison, like the elevator I recently built that uses this technique to decide the direction we need to go based on two signal strengths coming in from the elevator's current location as well as the elevator's destination. And since we've looked at all of these applications, we can't leave off having you measuring signal strength using a long line of redstone dust. You see, this works if you're okay with relying on a minimum signal strength value rather than a specific one. See, with a line of redstone, a signal strength of 5 will power on the lamp at the fifth location, but it will also power up everything before it. That's where signal strength decoders come in, and typically you'd expect to see one of those gigantic piston monstrosities. Here you can isolate the current signal strength, so we can build much more precise mechanisms, combination locks, and other contraptions. Except I prefer my signal strength monstrosities to not have a bunch of pistons, but instead have a bunch of gear shifts, shoots, and fans. So if we send a signal strength of 1 into this decoder, we will send a signal into this gear shift, reversing the rotational direction of the fan below, and causing it to draw whatever is in the bottom chest into the top chest. In this case, we have a single stone block, and once it gets to the top chest, the adjacent comparator will give out a signal, indicating that this is the selected signal strength. And when we move on to the next signal strength, the signal will reach the top over here, and activate the second gear shift, reversing the rotational direction back, and sending the item in the top chest back into the bottom chest. You can also use a clutch instead of a gear shift here since we don't need the fan to allow items to drop through the chute. The same signal also reaches the second lower gear shift through these repeaters, reversing the fan and bringing the item up to the top chest, indicating the second signal strength. And I can skip or choose any signal strength and have the system reliably detected each time. So you can see that this decoder uses the exact same technique as your typical signal strength decoder, but we're using some create parts instead. There are a ton of other things you can do with comparators and signal strength, especially when considering all the vanilla uses, but I hope that I covered at least a few that are pretty useful. You can find links to the world download and more in the description, but for now, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.